is amazed at the miracles that can be worked. In the photo gallery, Nancy Bernard poses for the famed MGM cameras, wearing one of Doris Day's dresses from the film, The Glass Bottom Boat. It's a woven striped cotton three-piece suit with re-embroidered touches and pleated skirt. Then the maid of cotton visits a place of special interest to her, the lavish wardrobe department. Here, everything from ball gowns to bikinis to bathrobes have been designed for such stars as Elizabeth Taylor, Audrey Hepburn, Debbie Reynolds, and all the other top stars that have graced the screen. Many of the foremost names in fashion have worked here. Right now, the brilliant young designer, Ray Aguian, is consulting with staff members about the wardrobe he's just completed for the glass bottom boat. These clothes are of particular interest to our maid of cotton because as designer Aguian is explaining to her, the entire wardrobe, from sports clothes to evening wear, is fashioned of cotton fabric. Clothes like actors are given a screen test before being cast in a motion picture. Nancy Bernard has the rare privilege of seeing the screen test for the glass bottom boat wardrobe modeled by Doris Day and Rod Taylor. For the modern and romantic atmosphere of the glass bottom boat, the designer has created a huge and colorful wardrobe. Each costume must complement the mood of the scene in which it appears. And although the sketches have been approved by the film's producer and director, the only true test of the wardrobe is how it will photograph for the giant theater screen. Doris Day models an Ampere nightgown of embroidered cotton batiste with tucked bodice trim and a matching long sleeve dressing gown. To match Miss Day's stunning personality, Ray Aguian designed an elegant yellow cotton paquet evening coat. Underneath is a ravishing gown in white cotton organdy. The entire skirt is lavished with floral punctuation of cotton daisies. There are brilliant yellow centers matching perfectly the color of the coat. This charming white cotton file suit is worn with a gay green and white polka dotted blouse of fine cotton broadcloth. The polka dots are reversed on the lining and the lapels, giving them an amusing pop art effect. Even Rod Taylor gets into the fashion act with a dashing scarlet lining to his classic navy blazer. Now here's an outfit any girl could use. It worked for Doris. She got caught by Rod Taylor. And that's one fish story the boys will never believe. Here we see how one selection from Doris Day's wardrobe will look to millions of moviegoers who see the glass bottom boat in this actual scene from the film. Would you come this way, please? Oh, Completely sterilized so that no dust or dirt will contaminate the critical parts. Workers entering the clean room must first stand on this grate, which will shake off dust from shoes and clothing. Like this. Oh, I guess we better go now. We'll go that way. Excuse me? I'll be out of your way in just a minute. Hey. You're the mermaid. Yes, I'm the mermaid. Didn't recognize you with your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we never did introduce ourselves, did we? Well, let's leave it that way, shall we? What are you mad about? In case you hadn't noticed, my heel is stuck. Ah! Oh! Ah! Will you please shoot? Where's your sense of humor? I lost it in Catalina. Nancy Bernard is a lucky girl indeed to visit these famous lots and sound stages where wars are fought, delicate operations are performed, lovers are united or torn apart, all under the watchful eye of the camera and the eager eyes of those fortunate enough to come here and see it all firsthand.
for 1966's Made of Cotton, about to embark on a journey that will take her around the world, and to almost all of its major cities, it will be a year of dreams. But one that will stay in her memory forever is her visit to the studios of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. For today, this dream, which is every girl's dream, came true for her.